Today we're at Waterford, the Waterford Public Infrastructure Project. It comprises a number of elements, a multimodal transport hub, section of rail and road, and a sustainable transport bridge. So the bridge was manufactured by a key supply chain member, Victor Breed Steel Construction in Belgium, and then shipped over on barges and lifted in. Our partners on the project are a good client board for City County Council. Uh, their designers, Ron O'Donovan, who designed the bridge, Quarter Hall, who are carrying out all the IICA, the mechanical, electrical, uh, instrumentation, control and automation, and HEBO are lifting the bridge in on behalf of Victor Week. You look at this bridge and you might be asking, why is this a sustainable bridge? It's sustainable because of the circumstance and the context it creates here. It's connecting what is the north part of the city, which is accessed by a bridge at the far end of the city. Uh, it's bringing that right into the middle. People on the north side of the city tend to in, in, in their, get in their car, drive to the city. Now they can walk or they can cycle. Making a positive impact on the local community is really important to BAM. We use as local supply chain when it comes to material supply. As part of the foundation construction, we had to carry out hydroacoustic monitoring, which is basically measuring sound levels underneath the water. It's a new condition on this project that we hadn't done before, but we've worked closely with the fisheries in establishing baselines for such monitoring, and it's been very effective and it'll be used going forward on future projects. And that demonstrates BAM's thinking beyond the build. Well, it's critical on a project of this size uh, and scale and complexity that you have full trust and confidence in your project partner. And BAM bring that construction expertise and competence. As a young boy, I have used to sitting out over the, the key sites here of my granny's apartment. I looked at the construction of previous bridges here in the past, and it's really great to be part of the history of Waterford. So when you construct infrastructure like this, it creates opportunities for employment, opportunities for growth for the country and economic gain across the piece. And when we think about building these kinds of projects, we're thinking about more than just the infrastructure we create, but how that makes real life better for real people. We are thinking beyond the building.